Hello everybody. Just a quick update video of my little chicks. They're probably a month old now. And I moved them outside into one of our planters, our vegetable planters. And it's really good for fertilizing. And they get to run around they're already grown so much that they're probably going to have to split them up and maybe move them to one of these planters. But we still have some vegetables here, so we got to harvest those first. But the, the one thing I wanted to talk to you about is with this uh, breed, the Cornish Cross, um, you will every once in a while have leg problems. And I almost lost one chicken because of a, a spraggled leg or a splayed leg and it's okay this is what I figured out it's a total lifesaver he was already so far down the road a splayed leg is basically he one of his legs is sort of just like limping along I'll include a photo so you can see it and then I looked online, somebody gave this tip and it's really working. Um, so he's been having this sort of rubber brace for a couple of days now and he's able to move around. He wasn't able to move around and keep up with all the other chickens. But the idea is really simple. You should do it as early as possible. Get a rubber band like this one, could be even smaller. You just cut it, cut it like this. So then you have the string here and then you tie one side of this to the leg of the chicken. So let's say here's the leg, you tie it around the leg like this and you leave a little, little bit uh, left over on this side and then you take the other side and you tie it around here on the second leg like so, and then you tie these two together. And then you will have this kind of construction. So what that does is it keeps both legs underneath the body of the chicken. And it stabilizes them. And it can then develop the strength to realign the leg. And so in a few days, I will take this actually off. Whoopsie, sorry guy and then he should be able to walk by himself again. So I probably would have lost that little guy without that brace because he just wasn't able to keep up with all the other chickens and he wasn't, he wasn't getting to the water, he wasn't getting to the food, so I had to like manually feed him and just give him like extra attention. But uh, at some point I don't think he, I would have been able to just keep up with his needs. And this way now he's self-sufficient and in a few days I will take that off and then he should be good to go. But other than that all the chickens seem pretty healthy. Um, I really like the Cornish cross for the consistency of their growth but I also like their personality. They're super friendly, super curious and not afraid actually do prefer them over the organic breeds, the Red Ranger, who's, that's a breed that is very inconsistent in its growth and also their personality. They're very packish and aggressive. These guys are just super, super friendly. You have to make sure that you always have enough bedding in there because they're kind of messy. Hey buddy. Yo, it's okay. So there you go. Uh, I'll post another video with this guy and keep you updated. And um, otherwise, I hope you're having a good summer. Talk to you soon.